Hello, good morning to everybody. Today we'll discuss about the another application of integral calculus in business and economics, um, especially the indi uh, indefinite integrals, application of indefinite integrals in business and economics. In our previous lecture, we have discussed about the application of differential calculus in three parts. Uh, which is a, uh, which has the application of business and economics part one, part two, and part three. So today we will start first part, uh, especially the application of integral calculus. You must know there are two types of integral calculus. One is definite integral, another is indefinite integral. Okay. So today we will discuss the first part, indefinite integral application of integral calculus in business and economics. Um, so today we'll solve especially five uh, examples. Um, first of all, uh, we'll discuss actually um, about the integral calculus. So So actually, there are five examples. Uh, in, in in every example, so you have to find out the actually total cost from marginal cost, uh, and uh, also evaluate the total uh, cost and average cost also. And then you have to find out the minimum values of marginal cost or margin minimum of minimum minimum values of. Uh, average cost or everything so so first of all look at the uh, look at our some uh, basic of integration so first of all what is integration actually integration is the process of finding a function when its derivative is known that is it is the process uh, reverse to that of differentiation and hence it is also known as antiderivatives so from our previous lecture, we must know about the differentiation or derivatives. So this is the actually opposite of derivatives or antiderivatives. We call for antiderivatives. So integration, uh, we have to integrate especially with a, uh, if a function. Then the, this function can be differentiated. Uh, then differentiated, we get the function and again we get the integration from here which is called antiderivatives okay antiderivatives that means differentiation and integration are opposite one or opposite to each other so first of all what is a integral calculus integral calculus is the study of definitions properties and applications of two related concepts the indefinite integrals and the definite integrals so the process of finding the value of an integral is called integration and the indefinite integral is the antiderivatives the inverse operation to the derivatives that means f is if f is an indefinite integral of small f when small f is derivative of capital f the definite integral inputs a function and outputs also a number which gives the area between the graph of the input and the x axis so in this part, we will discuss about the indefinite integrals uh, and application of indefinite integrals. And in our next lecture, part two, we will discuss the application of um, actually definite integral in which we have to use in finding consumer surplus and producer surplus. So this is actually indefinite integral. Uh, it is represented by the following notation. You must know integration of f of x dx. This is called. So it is viewed a reverse process of differentiation. Therefore, it is having a value equal to the following with unknown c. That means after completing differentiation, we get the original function. Then we have to add a constant c. Okay, and c is the constant you must know. And this is the uh, representation of definite integrals. To find out the area, we have to of any car uh, that means to, uh, in business and application you can business and economics we have to apply this process to find the consumer surplus and producer surplus okay 
or to find the total revenue, total cost, and total profit also. Okay. So the definite integral it takes a specific value c free from the variable x and an arbitrary constant. So the uh, actually a is called the lower limits and b is the called upper limit of the definite integral. So this is the uh, basic rules uh, or formulas uh, I had given you in your lecture. And this is the basic rules and operation of integration also. This is the first one, sum rule, and this is the multiple, constant multiple rule, and number eight is substitution rule, number nine is the integration by parts. Actually, you have understand about this. So now you have to time to apply now, okay? So, now, uh, some basic of, uh, for business and economics, the average fixed cost uh, can be found uh, by uh, dividing by the quantity, total fixed cost, and average variable cost also found by dividing by Q. Q is the actual output or number of units produced. And marginal cost, what will be? Marginal, the change in total cost that results from a change in output. The extra cost incurred to produce uh, another unit of output. So marginal cost MC equals to differentiation of actually total cost with respect to units. And this is actually, uh, this is the in Y axis cost and in X axis quantity. So total cost is the uh, yellow, yellow color and green color will be total variable cost. Actually the, this is the variable uh, starting from zero and total fixed cost. This cost can never change, okay? Just means fixed. This is why this is called. Then remember that total cost equals to total variable cost, total fixed cost. So total fixed cost, total variable cost, make total cost. Okay. Uh, so total variable cost, the cost of input that changes without. And total fixed cost, what? The cost of input that is independent of output. You have to remember this. Now, this is the marginal cost. Uh, this is the average total cost, and this is the uh, average variable cost, green, and red is the average fixed cost. So, combining three, uh, the, the rate of change of uh, cost with respect to quantity or output is called marginal cost. So, the marginal cost is equal to change in total cost that results from a change in output, okay? Uh, and average cost also. The average total cost is total cost divided by quantity. And remember that average, average, average total cost means average fixed cost plus average variable cost. And average variable cost also, average variable cost is also total variable cost divided by quantity or output. Now, average cost, average fixed cost equals to will be total fixed cost divided by quantity. You have to remember these uh, basic concepts. So, relationship between marginal cost and Average total cost. Average total cost is falling. Marginal cost curve lies below at average total cost curve. So average total cost is at minimum point. Uh, average total cost curve and marginal cost curve are equal. At minimum point, these three are equal. You have to remember this. And average total cost. Uh, average total cost uh, starts to increase. Uh, average total cost starts to increase. And marginal cost curve lies above that average total cost. This is the okay. So red one is the marginal uh, cost, and green is the average total cost. So you have to remember this curve. So and now we'll try to uh, so I su cost first, uh, which is uh, actually equal cost. The ISO cost shows various combination of two inputs and capital labor, which is purchased with a given amount of money for a given total cost. And ISO cost equation, this is the total cost equals to what? Uh, w, L, price of labor, plus L is the actual labor cost, plus R is the actual price of capital, and K is the capital for fixed cost. So this is the actual definition of different cost actually. Okay. This is actually a uh, relationship between marginal cost and marginal revenue. Uh, there are two types of uh, car. One is uh, green and another is orange. 
So from uh, different points, we'll get the actually uh, slope. So R is the revenue here and C is the actually uh, cost. So to, uh, this is the, we observe from the graph, the marginal cost, maximum profit, uh, in maximum profit, revenue and cost are same. Okay, revenue and cost are uh, same. So in left part, actually cost is greater than revenue, which is uh, indicate loss. And if revenue is greater than cost, then there will be profit. But if cost is greater than revenue, then also loss. So you have to maintain uh, this chart uh, for any uh, business and uh, economics problem. So cost, revenue, and profit relationship, you also, uh, we must know that break even point, uh, it which demand and supply curve meets together. So there are two curve, one is the C cost curve and R is the revenue curve. So this at this region, revenue is greater than cost. So in this, this is five profit. But from, from this part, actually cost is greater than revenue. This is why loss. And here cost also greater than revenue from this curve. Okay. So from this green curve, we observe that there are two break even point where break even point p equals to zero in that case revenue equals to cost but in the middle of this curve we get profit okay this is the actually relationship between cost revenue and profit now uh, recall how, uh, what is the actually definition of derivatives you must know about this just example uh, this is the antiderivatives uh, function of f of x this y of x equals to can be written as integration of a small f of x dx. So capital F of x, suppose a small f of x equals to 3x square. Now integration, what will be x q plus c? Just using the first formula, x to the power n, n formula, that means power rule. So x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Here, from here, uh, we observe the actually uh, by the definition, the example for that. Now, the rules, first rule, this is the x to the power n rule x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c is the actually integral constant for example in, uh, integration of x square will be x cube by 3 just using the same uh, power rule we get this one now constant multiple rule also we can apply 3x square 3 is the constant a is the same as a so x square in integration what will be x cube by 3 okay we get x cube plus c this is the, x cube is the original function so this is another example and rule three this is the actually sum rule um, just summation tx square plus twice x then individually we can take the integration individual function then x square integration will be x cube by three 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 will be cancelled and two x square will be this same easy integration okay calculating marginal function actually you must know marginal revenue and marginal cost will be derivative of total revenue with respect to quantity or unit number of units marginal cost also derivative of total cost with respect to quantity so similarly if you want to find out the total revenue you have to integrate okay marginal revenue with respect to quantity similarly if you want to find the total cost from the marginal cost integration we have to integrate marginal cost with respect to q q is the actually variable here and q is the number of units we have to produce now let us start uh, to solve the five problems I have shown you. So here we have to use this uh, this uh, basic formula: total cost equals to if total cost equals to f of x plus b, where f of x the variable cost and fixed cost will be also b. So in that case, average cost can be count by just total cost divided by number of units. Here, x is the number of units. And total cost c also found by integrating marginal cost. Okay, dc dx equals to marginal cost or integrating marginal cost with respect to x or inputs. So here, marginal cost m c equals to dc dx. Now, basic integration formula you have to use x to the power n integration equals to n into x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And you have to plus c then one integration will be x and zero integration will be what c now first now we have to use 
uh, solve the first one, first problem. How to find the, how to find total profit and total cost. So, first problem is, uh, the first problem, we are given marginal cost. First number one, marginal, marginal cost was given, given marginal cost cost MC, okay, MC equals to, we are given So we are uh, DCDQ, okay, where Q is the quantity, therefore DCDQ equals to given what? 100 minus 10Q, 100 minus 10Q plus 0.1Q square. This is actually given marginal cost, okay, marginal cost. So so from here we observe that actually q is the quantity here and c is the total cost now or from here we can write dc equals to 100 minus 10 q plus 0.1 q square that means multiplying by dq on both sides. Now, integrating on both sides, 100 minus 10q plus 0.1q square. So, integrating on both sides we have. So, just using integration formula, now multiplying individual term with integral sine and dq. So this is actually to make, uh, to use the formula of integration. Actually, uh, in left hand side, uh, integration of, uh, of one with respect to c, what will be? Only c, just using number two formula. So 100, one integration with respect to Q, what will be only Q. 10 indication Q to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.1 into Q to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. We have to use a integral constant K because here C is given total cost. This is why we cannot use C in replace of integral constant. So, from here, we can write 100 Q minus 10 by 2 means what? 5 Q square plus 0 0.1 by 3 Q Q plus K. This is the equation number 1. So, in, in question 1, we are given Actually, Q is the output here and fixed cost was given. Fixed cost here, total variable cost is this and this is the fixed cost, okay? So, we are given. According to the given condition, according to the given condition, fixed cost, Fixed cost equals to what? 500. Okay. Therefore, when number of units equals to Q equals to what? Zero. That means when fixed cost 500, but produ production zero. That means number of units will be zero. Just putting, putting 
fixed cost k equals to what 500 so putting putting k equals to 500 and q equals to 0 in equation 1. So, we get c equals to what would be 100 multiply q equals to 0 minus multiply 0 whole square plus 1 by 30 q cube means 0 cube plus k. Therefore, sorry k equals to 500. Therefore, C equals to easily 500. Now, putting the value of C in equation, here C equals to what? Fixed cost. We are given actually fixed cost is what? 5,000. 5, so, we can write the equation one as k equals to what? 5,000 because 5,000 is given. So k equals to 5,000. Now putting, so we get easily c equals to, for production q equals to zero, we get c equals to k equals to 5,000. Now putting the value of k in equation, one putting the value of k in one so we get total cost equals to what will be 100 q minus 5 q square 1 by 30 q q plus what will be 5000. Again, second part, average cost. Average cost equals to formula of what? C by Q. Okay. C by Q. C by Q. This is the second part of question. This is the first part result. This is the variable cost and this is the fixed cost. Remember. So, C by Q equals to what will be 1 by Q. Just we have to multiply with C. 100 Q minus 5 Q square plus 1 by 30 q cube plus 500. So, average cost equals to will be q divided by q will be only 1 minus only single q, q, q cancel. So, 1 by 30 q square 500 divided by q. This is the our required average cost. So, this is the actually result. This is the first result and this is the second test. Now another number. Second problem. Second problem. Second problem. Actually we are given marginal cost equals to what? Given marginal cost equals to 6 plus 10x 10x minus 6x square. Therefore, marginal cost formula what? dc dx. So, this equals to this one. 6 plus 10x minus 6 square or dc equals to 6 plus 10x minus 6 square dx. So, just multiplying by dx on both sets okay multiplying by dx on both sets so now integrating on both sets dc equals to 6 plus okay just integrating on both sets or now making formula just there is no variable this is why I'm only taking one similarly 6 is constant so taking one dx plus 10 x dx minus 6 x square dx or in, in, integration of 1 with respect to c what will be only c just using number 2 formula okay number 2 formula 
and one formula with respect to x will be x plus 10 x formula what will be 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 minus 6 x 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 using power okay where k is the constant or c equals to 6 x 10 by 2 5 x square 6 by 3 means what 2 x cube plus k this is the equation number one similar problem where k is the integral constant now uh, we are given the total cost of production of a pair of shoes is stuck at 12 so a pair of shoes means what actually so a pair of shoes means number of units equals to 2 so if x equals to 2 then cost what 12 taka. just putting this so putting these values this value in what equation one just putting it in equation one we get okay putting x equals to 2 and k equals uh, c equals to 12 6 into 2 minus 5 into whole square minus 2 into 2 whole cube plus k so or 12 equals to 12 minus 20 minus what will be 16 plus k this will be plus okay so you obviously get k equals to what minus four. so putting the values of k in equation one so k equals to what will be uh, just putting value of k in equation one so c equals to will be 6x total cost minus four so this is the result first result now secondly we have to find out the total average cost function so we know average cost cost as c equals to what will be c by x that means total cost divided by number of units x so this equals to can be written as c means what 6x plus 5x square minus twice x cube minus 4 this equals to can be written as divided by x1 so 6 1 into 6 6 so 5 x square x 5x minus 2 only x square but minus 4 divided by x so this is the second part of the problem too so this is the our average cost now the third problem third problem for you problem three okay third problem we are given we are given marginal cost equals to three thousand 3000 e to the power 0 0.36 plus 50 okay marginal cost this is it we can write marginal cost as here x is the input or output 3000 e to the power 0 0.36 plus 50 so according to the formula of marginal cost actually rate of uh, rate of change of cost with respect to x so now integrating here output is the x is the quantity and we are also given fixed cost is taka 80,000 then you have to find out the total cost of the firm similar problem okay so by cross multiplication we can write or this equals to 3000 e to the power 0 0.36 plus 50 now integrating on both sides we can write 
to the power 0.3x plus 50 integrating on both sides to find out the total cost okay now making formula there is no variable this is y1 so 3000 is the constant here and 0 e to the power 0 0.36x dx plus another one is 50 so dx this is the um, making part we can write this one now or one integration with respect to c will be c and 3000 is the constant here so e to the power x mx e to the power 0 0.36 x we have to divide with the coefficient of x okay we are dividing with the coefficient of coefficient of x coefficient of x okay plus 50 one integration will be what only x because we must know formula integration of e to the power mx what will be 1 by m e to the power mx okay then constant okay integral constant so e to the power mx formula you must know e to the power mx formula here e to the power integration of e to the power mx dx what will be 1 by m e to the power mx just using this formula uh, we get e to the power 0 0.3 x divided by only 0 0.3 so when we are given another condition according to the given condition when output is 0 then fixed cost what then c equals to what 80,000 taka okay so 80,000 taka when when output is 0 then total cost what was 80,000 see this is actually fixed cost now putting these values in equation one this is equation number one just put putting the value of x equals to zero and c equals to eighty thousand. then we get the integral constant value okay now putting these values eighty thousand equals to c equals to eighty thousand. so three thousand e to the power zero point three into what zero divided by zero point three plus 5 sorry this will be 50x so 50 multiply 0 plus k there therefore we get e to the power 0 means what 1 okay e to the power 0 means 1 so we get 80,000 here 3,000 divided by 0 0.3 means what will be maybe 10,000, okay? 0 means 1, so this will be 0 plus k. So therefore, k equals to what will be? 70,000. Now putting the values of k, putting the values of k in equation 1, okay? Then we get the total cost of the farm. 3000 into 0 point, 0 0.36 divided by 0 0.3 plus 50x plus 70,000. Okay, just putting the values of k. This is the actually required total cost of the bar. Okay, very easy. All problems are same. Now, we also find out the average cost. Average cost, second part, average cost equals to what was C divided by X. So we can write one by X total C 3000 e to the power 0 0.36 X divided by 0 0.3 plus 50 X. 70,000. Then we get 
ten thousand zero point three six divided by x plus fifty plus seventy thousand divided by x. This is the actually average cost. So similar problem. We have solved three problems in a row. Now another the fourth problem. The fourth problem, what was the question? The fourth problem, we are given fourth problem. We are given marginal cost equals to four plus five x square, five x square plus three by two t to the power minus x. This is the actually given given marginal cost. Therefore, marginal cost means what? DC, DX, X is the input. We have to find out the total cost. Similar problem. So, four plus five X square plus three by two e to the power minus X. Therefore, DC equals to what will be? Four plus five X square. 3 by 2 e to the power minus x dx. Now integrating on both sides, we get 4 plus 5x square this. Therefore, making formula, there is no variable. This is how you want. And here, 1 is the formula. Just multiplying 5 constant 3 by 2 e to the power minus x dx. Just multiplying integral sign and dx. Or one formula what will be c. 4x, one formula x, uh, x square formula what will be x cube by 3. Or 5 1 into x to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus 3 by 2 e to the power minus x formula, what will be e to the power minus x, dividing with the coefficient of 1. Actually using same same formula, same formula, so formula what was integration of, integration of what? e to the power mx formula, what will be 1 by m e to the power mx. Here m is the minus 1 here, okay? same formula so total cost is given by 4x plus 5 by 3 x cube minus 3 by 2 e to the power minus x actually this is the total cost actually um, uh, we have to add here a constant integral constant this is equation number one now we are given another condition. We are given according to the given condition when output uh, find the total cost of a production where x equals to 2 if fixed cost is taka 6 lakh. Okay. Uh, we are given fixed cost is taka 6 lakh. Okay. So when there will be no production, that means x equals to zero, then total cost what? Six lakh, okay? Six lakh. Now putting these values in equation one, okay? Putting, putting x equals to zero and c equals to six in equation one, we get what c equals to 6 equals to 4 into 0 plus 5 by 3 into 0 whole cube minus 3 by 2 into e to the power minus 0 plus k. So what will be k? Here this will be 0, this will be 0, but e to the power 0 means what? 1. So we get only 6 plus 3 by 2. 
that means 15 by 2 k equals to what 15 by 2 now putting the values of k putting values of k in equation 1 okay equation 1 so we get then we get total cost so 4x plus 5 by 3 x cube minus 3 by 2 e to the power x minus 15 by 2 this is the required total cost okay required total cost so we have uh, found actually total cost here so you have to find out the total production where x equals to 2 so if x equals to 2 uh, then total cost if x equals to if x equals to 2 units then total cost will be what 4 into 2 plus 5 by 3 into 2 cube minus 3 by 2 into e to the power minus 2 plus 15 by 2. So just multiplying 8 plus 40 by 3 minus 3 by 2 e to the power minus 2 what will be? Actually e to the power minus 2 means 0 0.1353 using calculator 0 0.1353 15 by 2. Now adding and subtracting, we get an approximate value. Actually, this will be 28.63. So this will be 28.63 lakh, approximately. Okay, approximately. This is actually result of the final result of the fourth problem. So if x equals to 2, then the final production okay now uh, the final problem now the final problem number fifth problem actually similar problem also number fifth problem we are given marginal cost mc equals to marginal cost mc equals to uh, 2000 minus 40x 2000 minus 40x plus 3x square plus 3x square so we are also given uh, where well, X is the actually number of units produces is estimated cost is taka 18,000. Find the total cost function in terms of X and also find the minimum values of marginal cost. So you have to minimize the marginal cost here. So marginal cost means DC DX. This equals to 2,000. Plus three x square, or by cross multiplication, minus forty x dx. Integrating on both sides, or this equals to. 2000 is the constant. This is why taking 1 for formula number 2. 40 is also constant. Plus 3 is also constant. So, one integration what will be? With respect to C, only C. 2000, one integration would be what? X. 40, X to the power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 3 into X to the power 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and k is the integral constant. So therefore total cost 
we get 2000 x 40 divided by 2 means what 20 x square 3 divided by 3 cancels only x cube and plus k this is the equation number one so this is actually total cost So, cost estimated for 18,000 when, when x equals to 0, then cost estimated for cost was for 18,000. So, putting these values in equation 1, we have to find out the value of k. Okay. So, putting x equals to 0 and c equals to 18,000, okay, in equation 1, this equation 1, okay, then we get the c equals to, c equals to what will be 18,000 equals to 20,000 multiplied 0. 20 multiply 0 whole square minus 0 whole cube plus k. Therefore, k equals to what will be? Obviously, we get 18,000. So, putting the value of k, putting the value of k in equation 1, okay? Then we get the total cost of the production. Plus k equals to what? 18,000. This is the required total cost. Okay. This is the first answer. Now, second part. Now, second part. If to minimize. We have to we have to minimize the marginal cost. Okay, find the total cost function in terms of x and also find the minimum values of marginal cost. Now we have to second part. So second part marginal cost cost MC equals to what was what was given actually 2000 minus 40x 2000 minus 40x plus 3x square this is the actually given marginal cost here for any values of x we observe that marginal cost This is equation number one. Suppose equation number one. Now to make minimize the marginal cost, you have to differentiate this. First of all, taking dtx on both sides. Okay. Minus 40x plus 3x square. So dmc marginal cost divided by dx what will be 2000 integration differentiation will be 0 minus 40 x differentiation 1 plus 3 into x square differentiation what will be power this is the differentiation so first derivative equals to what will be minus 40 plus 6x Okay, minus 40 plus 6x. This is the first derivative of marginal cost. Now for, for minimum marginal cost, first derivative of marginal cost will be what? 
zero. This is the zero for maximum minimum values. T Y D X equals to what was zero. This is why for minimum marginal cost, first derivative will be zero. First derivative what minus forty plus six x equals to zero. Therefore, x equals to what will be forty divided by six. So x equals to we get twenty by three. Again, differentiating this is equation number two. Equation two. This is equation number two on both sides. That means taking the second derivatives of marginal cost. So ddx dmc divided by dx. This equals to what will be taking ddx on both sides. Minus 40 plus 6x. Okay. So second derivative of marginal cost minus 40 minus 40 constant 0 plus 6 multiply 1 x differentiation 1 so this equals to actually 6 which is greater than 0 that means which is positive okay since second derivative is positive at x equals to 20 by 3 so we obviously say that the Hence, so the marginal cost, marginal cost is minimum, okay? If greater than zero, second derivative is greater than zero, then minimum. If second derivative is less than zero, then maximum, okay? So marginal cost is minimum. At what will be? At x equals to, what will be? 20 by 3, this x values. Okay, this is the actually optimum values. Optimum values. So this is actually required result. So now we can find uh, the total marginal cost. So total marginal cost can be found by putting x equals to 20 by 3 in equation 1, okay? Total marginal cost will be given by, total marginal cost will be, will be given, just putting x equals to 20 by 3 in equation number 1. Equation number 1, what was? 2000 x minus 20x square plus x cube plus 18,000. Okay. So just putting x equals to, so minimum mc mean. So minimum marginal cost will be given by 20,000 multiply 20 by 3 minus 20 multiply 20 by 3 whole square plus 18,000. Just these values. After calculation, we get the total or minimum marginal cost of the production of a farm. 